All right, you guys, today we have a pretty cool project. We have a Goal Zero Yeti 400, and we have four different solar panels that I'm gonna be testing here for you today. We have, first, we have a flat, flexible uh, solar panel that's 100 watt by Renogy. And then we have a Renogy, again, 100 watt panel, but it's more of a style that's supposed to be meant for just like roof. So you can see that it's got the metal frame around it. Um, with the flex one, it's a lot more money, but you can curve it. I mean, you can do all, I mean, this would be perfect for like maybe a boat, or if you have a roof that is curved, um, that would be a, a perfect option. So what we're gonna do today is kind of figure out if it really does matter um, if you got a 30 foot um, goal zero extension, a 15 foot, and then we have the eight foot extension. And we are using this converter by goal zero that converts a regular solar panel feed to their eight millimeter uh, pin that they have. So then you can also put it in your input on your goal zero. So as you can see right now, we're pulling zero watts and that's using the eight foot converter. And that's because right now the sun is behind a lot of clouds. So we're gonna wait here a couple minutes so then we can start this testing off for you guys and see if it does really matter. Uh, the shorter the cable, what type of panel, if it, you're gonna get more power off a flex panel or a regular flat panel. All right, you guys, we both have the panels in the same position practically. And you can see we're getting eight watts, eight watts. So there really isn't anything different. Um, so you can definitely see that they are both connected. Now this does have a shorter cable, but that's really the only difference between these two is the exact same setups and they're getting this exact same wattage. So nothing is different except for the panels are different. This is a flexible panel. That's the solid one like we talked about before. And there is no performance difference between either one. So I would recommend either one at this point. Um, if you need to do the flexible for like a rooftop um, or like the top of a car, like what I'm gonna be doing it with it, um, then go with the flexible. But if you want the heavier one for your actual roof of your house, I would definitely go with that then. I know we're only pulling six watts at the moment, but this is the foot, 15 foot cable and we're gonna go ahead and try the 30 foot cable and see if we notice a difference. It just dropped down to five watts. So we're gonna unplug that in here and switch out the uh, cable here to now the 30 feet cable. So it looks like you don't see that much of a performance. Now we're up to five. So you, now I don't think you see much of a performance decrease then because there's six watts. All right, you guys, as you can see, we tested both solar panels. They put out the same amount of watt, no matter what panel, the flex or the standard. And we did test the uh, six foot it was not eight foot cable and the 15 and the 30 foot and we didn't see any really performance decrease even though we didn't have much sun uh, that day we did this test um, but I would definitely recommend doing the shortest cable possible for your run because that will uh, decrease the performance the longer the cable is so I hope this video was helpful for you guys um, I'll see you guys in the next one thank you